Let me try to tell this fucking story. Oh, yeah. So my parents, they're very hard to get hooked on things. And for the longest time, I wanted to watch Game of Thrones. But, well, I, I had a hard time getting into it as well. So then we started watching Game of Thrones. Me and Crystal finished. And I got my grandma hooked on it. And my mom was into it just because, hey, it's fantasy. And there's dragons. She loves dragons and shit. For those who don't know, in Season 3, Episode 9... And the episode called The Reigns of Castamere. Remember. Yeah. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, click don't, don't away. Fucking watch it. I'll look bacon. Because um. <laughs> we can't Cause, cause watch this. Because I said who doesn't love bacon and I just see a dead pig on the fucking floor. You're so That's called funny. foreshadowing. In this particular episode, it's very infamous. I mean, for those who actually do watch Game of Thrones. You know which episode it is. You know what we mean. But it, it's got this this infamy about it called The Red Wedding. And in it, half of the main cast pretty much died. Like, at least pretty major, much. major players. And this scene, this particular part of the story, is very infamous because of the fact that they killed so many people. And it comes right out of nowhere. It's the first time people think, oh, shit this show doesn't fuck around they kill everybody so then even the piggies even the piggies not just the men but the women and the children too i knew my parents would react in some way so i i i jumped the gun and i got my camera i was like all right my parents have never seen this i can't wait to see how they're gonna react and at most my mom just went oh shit when Rob Stark's wife gets stabbed right in the baby sack. The baby maker. Right in the baby maker. And they had little to no response at all. They kind of treated it as a, eh. If anything, they got more upset when the dire wolf got killed with arrows. And they said their reasoning is because they're a lot more um, desensitized to this kind of uh, violence compared to, like, real-life violence. Like, they actually... Well, if they got upset at a wolf being killed then i can understand because the, uh, when they first started when they first started watching the show they said i won't get upset at it if anybody dies just if they, if they kill a kid or or an animal yeah and uh it's kind of weird because my grandma said the weirdest fucking thing but no like they, they actually kill an unborn child in, in that scene mom thought it was just for shock value oh not for shock value what do you mean Sh like like, she thought, like, that's the reason you. people got upset, because they killed somebody's unborn baby. Oh, my God. But the difference between shock value and actual something fucking going bad is that that was a pretty important character that they killed with her baby inside of her. That's not shock value. That's killing off a character. She also pointed out that, like, at the time, I doubt... Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. I um, actually almost fucked it up. <sighs> Should I kill him? Should I kill him? No. I'll show mercy. You're lucky I'm not a fucking Lannister. You're lucky my girlfriend's here. <laughs> you, you wouldn't mind if I killed him. I think I would mind. Yeah, like my grandma was like, hey, you want to see a fuck at the heading? He was like, no. No, I would Why? not like that. Why? It's like, you know, what's just fucking there, you know? It, it's like in Rick and Morty's. Or Rick says, like, God, it's like those things on the internet where people randomly send you, like, videos of beheadings. No, it's beheadings. Not, not just fucking there. You know why? Because, you know what? Porn is also just fucking there. But you won't so show your ch your kid that. Are, are you comparing a beheading to porn? Yes. Because, you know what? It's fucked up that people will show people, will show their kids beheadings. Or, like, some f sort of gr gruesome-ass shit. But they won't show them porn something that's actually normal i'll kill the men who did this well we are not paying attention well, at it's because all because we already saw this bit yeah <laughs> eventually we're gonna get invested i, I promise but, it. but what, what for the people who are watching the people who are watching they're like oh my god his dad's dead and we're just like you know what porn is <laughs> look very Iron underrated Rat. thing telltale's always in a unique position where their concept art is pretty much their background <laughs> Say what you will about this game. They took my dick. Say what you... <laughs> We're not Theon Greyjoy. <laughs> what do you think we are? Theon Greyjoy? <laughs> I think at this point in the story, Jon Snow was 
tongue deep in a fucking wild thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of porn, okay, like, this is gonna... Oh, okay. That is the... the fucking... I've never heard a sentence started like that. Come oh, on. Okay. No. This is <laughs> my life. Go ahead. Give it to me. Okay, so... Let's hear it. I'm gonna get really candid here. When I was younger, um, you know, I would see scenes, like, from Game of Thrones on porn sites. I would think, oh, it's fucking hot. Because, you know, I'm a dumb kid. And, of course, you know, you do anything to get off. After watching Game of Thrones, I can't look at those scenes the same way again. Like what? Like, I just... Anything with Theon. Are you... Th there's actual porn with Theon? Well, you know, like, it's clips from the series, like, when he's fucking Vaz. Oh. Or Roz. Was it Vaz or Roz? Oh, God. Oh, God. I fucking hate this. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna throw up all of my Chinese food. <sighs> Who the fuck would put maggots in their open wound? Yeah, the foresters. Yeah, it will fall because you guys are the type of guys who put fucking maggots in there. Oh, it's so gross. So continue. But yeah, like you know, the, like I. Just... <laughs> you just pull a fucking. But legitimizing the 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 the. Yeah, so like Theon would be fucking Vaz, and you know that would be like the one thing like everybody would watch the most because Esme Bianco is pretty attractive. But after seeing what happens to to Theon. I, I can't watch anything with him anymore. And and also, also fun fact, I sent this to you late at night because I found out accidentally. I, I was showing my parents Game of Thrones, like, before we got to the Red Wedding, and I was just remembering, man, the actress who plays Shay is really good. Let yeah, me, and then she's like, let, oh, me look, no, let, me, let me look her up, let me see what's going on. And then I found out, oh shit. And then I messaged you, like, okay, top ten, one of the top ten things I didn't think I'd find out today. The actress who, the actress who plays Shay is a porn star. A retired porn star. Retired. I can believe it. I like her accent. I don't know where it's from. Where's her accent from? She's German. Oh. Dude, get those fucking maggots out of your leg. Get those healing herbs. Four, You're gonna need a lot more than fucking 420, healing. 420, my lord. 420. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll fucking walk out right now. No. <laughs> hey, hey, what was your favorite video from Josh Boy 64 Oh, I like the one where him and his girlfriend, they talked about porn <laughs> for 30 minutes in the Game of Thrones video. Do you want to get demonetized? We're already demonetized because of the 9-11 joke you oh. made earlier. <laughs> I like how it says, show the sword to him. You point it away from him. The hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his... Yeah, we, we didn't even see this part last time we, we played. Okay, yeah. I don't... We're... Okay, we, I think we need to start paying attention. Okay, he... Okay, um... I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. I really possible. tried my hardest. There was nothing we could do. Oh, That's shit. why I kind of tried my best to get him to come with me. He was like, no, go. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Yeah, he also he told me to call he told me to call you a bitch. You're a bitch. Oh fuck, I avoided her question! Yeah, you did, oh, but, but damn it! But the reason why is because like he, he the his last words he told you not to not to tell it to anybody but his uncle. Yeah, that's true. So good, good job. I keep getting worried about the microphone placement. Well, stop worrying. Oh my god, they, well I don't want it to find out, but like I've been talking this whole time, it just sounds like hey, it's like, the fucking port, am I right? You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, you don't remember that? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we did see this part. I don't want to deal with Rams. What was the thing he said about the, the Bolton banner? 
<laughs> oh yeah, that that fucking skit from I don't know, but fuck nineteen whatever. It, it might have been like Monty Python. No, I don't think it was. Circus. I don't think it was Monty Python. It was this. It was a skit. I I I'm drawing a blank of the name, but it was basically like so, some guys, some British dudes dressed up as Nazis. And they they were saying, "Are we the baddies?" Oh no, I didn't respond. <laughs> Josh, I'm talking right now. I'm the one talking right now, was, so you I need was, to. Oh my god! I was god. busy looking at the audio levels. You've been looking sure. at it the whole time. Uh, not, British people dress up as Nazis, saying, "Are we the baddies?" Because they've got we've got skulls on our hats, and skulls are bad. It's just that that whole thing. So I'm thinking. That any Bolton soldier is thinking, are we the baddies? Because a banner is an X with a a skinned man burning, hanging upside down on the on that X. That's a pretty. This is this is pretty gruesome. If I were a soldier in that in, in that house, I'd be constantly thinking, I'm the total bad guy right now, and I'm gonna get killed. Like so, the, yeah. What was the banner for the Boltons again? Like, it was like a... I just explained it. Oh, you it. did? I, I'm trying to pay attention to the thing, and I was like... It's an X with a body hanging upside down on it. It looks skinned, and it's burning. Or, like, something like that. Hey, who doesn't like bacon, am I right? <laughs> did you forget to answer again? <laughs> no, I answered this time. I, I just said I'd go. Because they're saying, you gotta go or else Ramsey's gonna fucking kill you. <sighs> okay, before we start pissing people off, start paying attention okay, to the goddamn I'm paying dialogue. Attention. God damn it. Okay, <laughs> you know what? You f Holy shit, he disappeared! <laughs> he fucking disappeared! <laughs> the Starks are dead now. Yeah, they're dead. They're so dead. They're very dead. Rob is like rotting away, like in the he, middle. He's of the, super dead. In the middle of the fray dining hall. See, now I'm depressed because I was supposed to get a promotion. Yeah, and now you're gonna go to the yeah. fucking wall. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! I can't get laid anymore. <laughs> well, who's to say you can't get laid anymore? John. We can't Snow. all be John Snow. God damn it! Right now he's just tongue deep in a wildling. Right now. Oh hell yeah! It was the right guy. The North Grove can never be lost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the ans for the non-answer. <laughs> No! No! What happened? What did you do? <laughs> what, hap what happened? Oh, the fucking application crashed. What application? The game crashed. This first episode's going great, isn't it? Yeah.